Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to SnowRunner. Today I have a brand new truck that we're going to be testing out and doing a mission called Drilling Stuff Delivery where we got to pick up some drilling equipment and drop it off to a drilling site. So this is the Caliper C -T -C -T 680 I don't know what I'm saying there. And um, yeah, we just got this thing straight from California. Go ahead and take a look at the license plate on that. But this is probably one of the most modern trucks. A lot of the trucks in this game are much older, but this is pretty new and it's it's nice and it's very feelish efficient too so i think we're gonna like this truck let's go ahead and fire it up i did go ahead and put snow chains on this and we pretty much did everything that we could we added some more lights on top we did a couple of uh transmission upgrades and it should be okay now we are going to be testing this like really really well today guys we are gonna have to go through some really crazy roads so let's see how this caterpillar does now i wanted to use a pacific p12 for this but it only had a saddle high and i needed a saddle low for the uh, type of trailer unless i wanted to like haul it from the back but i definitely wanted to use the saddle so i don't know we ended up not using that damn look how big this pipe is well all right, so we're going to be picking up drilling equipment. It takes up four slots. I wish I could also bring this too because I have another mission. Literally the next mission after this, I have to bring this there. But we're going to do drilling equipment. We got that loaded up. And let's start out on our journey. I'm going to show you guys a quick run through here. So once we get to the bridge, we're going to make a left. We're going to start going off road and that's when it's going to get crazy. These are some very sketchy roads that we're going to be going through. And I honestly don't know if we're going to make it, guys. I'm going to be honest. This is going to be hard, but hey, it's snow runner. Let's go ahead and run through some snow. So we do have all-wheel drive and diff locks, that should help. I did put the super strong, I think it's called the twin winch, twin motor winch. So we do have that on in case we need to winch ourselves out. I'm sure we're going to need that once we get off road and get, in all, get into all of that mud and muck. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. As always, I thank you guys for coming out to today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's kind of throw that all-wheel drive up so our front wheels can help us get over this hill. So far so good, but like I said, the real test is going to be once we get off road. Did my mud flaps break? Do you guys see that? I think my mud flap broke on this side. How did we break our mud flap? Must have hit something. Oh, you know what? I think we're making our first turn here. Alright, we are off-roading it here. Let's see how this does. So good. Now my other problem is gonna be like fitting through this. Like, how am I gonna fit here, guys? Ooh, the trailer's getting hung up here. Do we have enough power to get us out of here? Yeah, we do not. Okay, it's going to be a very long day, guys. It's got a winch to this. Oh, that's not what we want to do. Okay. Let's attach our winch. Let me attach from the trailer to that tree right there. There we go. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Darn, this is tight. Got nothing to winch to in front of us either. Alright, so we're gonna keep winching the trailer to this tree. I 
Now, I could have probably done this with my uh, international pay start. I probably would have been our best truck, but I used it for the last two missions, and I wanted to try to use a new truck. Now, I got nothing to attach to in front of me. Should we even bother go that way? Oh man. Oh wait, we have to. Oh shoot. I thought we were over here already. Okay, well, at least I have a, a ways to go, guys. You know, another thing is trailer is pretty low too, so. Getting caught up a lot. Hmm. Trying to see what are our options to winch to. This may have been the wrong truck for the job, guys. Ooh, it's getting close. Oh, if that could have hit that tree, that would have been perfect. I'm going through this stuff. This rock's gonna get caught up. Oh! Shoot. That rock just spun a sideway over there. That tree right there. Yeah, we're bottomed out again here, guys. Um, got nothing good that we could attach to. This load here. Oh, dang it. Well, it didn't completely flip though. But I'm not gonna get my cargo back though. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Damn, why won't it let me repack my cargo? It's only letting me remove it. I wanna repack it. It's not really up enough. So 
that I can't wedge to it. Oh, oh. Darn it, I can't read that. Alright, um... It's still coming with me. Oh, no, it's gone now. Darn. Oh, man. Alright guys, I have good news and bad news. The good news is we got our paystar out here to uh, try to help out. So I can lift this container. Now the bad news is I just came from where we have to go and I have no idea how we're going to fit this through because my truck alone barely fits. I don't know how we're going to fit the cat and the uh, seat out of the trailer out. I'm kind of tempted to try to drive right up that river though, but that's kind of where we have to go. So if we get desperate, we may do that. But uh, yeah, we don't have much space to work with here, guys. And yeah, this is not even stable at all. Put out these anchors though, that doesn't look like it's gonna do a thing. I probably should have brought the bigger crane. I wasn't even thinking at first. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and attach to this and I'm gonna try to lift. Yep, my whole truck's about to flip over. Alright guys, we actually got it on enough. I'm going to go ahead and pack the cargo and we got it. So uh, now, like I was saying, I don't know what we're going to do to get out of here. Um, I feel like we're definitely going to need this truck, so I'm going to leave this truck here. We're going to need this in a little while. And let me hop into this and try to figure out a game plan on what we can do. So our options are drive straight into the river, which seems like a bad idea, but I think it may be better than trying to go out. So you know what, guys? This is a very bad idea, but going up there, I feel like it's going to just be worse. So uh, we're just going to try something very crazy here. There's a good chance I'm going to lose my cargo here again, but that's okay. We'll just pick it back up if we have to. Guys, this plan is just crazy enough that it just might work. <laughs> the water is not too deep. Oh, we're stuck on something though. Watch it be nothing like the lunch to here. Alright, we're stuck on some more rocks here. If I could just if I could have lunch to this tree right here. Here, we have a good shot. This tree is gonna break. Yep, that did nothing for us. Actually, right over here. Oh, if I could hit that tree, but you know what? This tree may help us out. I think I may bring the other truck around and just try to pull us out. 
Alright, so I'm gonna go around with this truck, and just to show you guys how bad this is, you guys are gonna kinda see how it's just back and forth, right and left turns, and I don't think our trailer would have really made it through here. There's a really bad one towards the end, too. I just need to get in front of my truck. I think I could just go right through here. This is gonna drop. Okay, perfect. Came out right where I want it to be. Ooh, it's deep. Alright, boy, it is your time to ch to shine the pay star. Alright, so what we're gonna do is switch to this real quick. We'll just make sure. Brakes not released, all wheel drive is on, okay. Alright, here we go. out of this way guys and it's gotta turn to the right. Alright so I had to detach oh got a little bit of glitch going on there. Alright so let's get this guy over here. The pace star definitely has proven that this thing is a beast. I mean, we already knew that, but this thing is a base. Uh, I'm gonna just put it right up here. And I'm trying to go back and pull the trailer right now with this. Alright. Definitely have a little more power in this truck there. Still getting kind of stuck here, but it's good. I think I'm gonna actually just go ahead and attach to the saddle. Oh, it's all back down. I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to attach. Can I slide under there? Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to try to get a little creative here.
pushing through with this. I'm starting to wonder if I should just finish the mission with this trip. So now is the decision guys, do we finish with the truck that we're driving or do we switch back to the cat here? Um, I went the wrong way, no! <laughs> Darn it, I was supposed to go up here and then go around, crap! There's no other way across over here too. Alright, um, I guess so. Let's get fuel. Let's turn around. Look at this road. I think we should just continue with the pace though. I'm sorry, Caterpillar. We're gonna save you for another day. These roads are just too treacherous. If we were staying on the main roads, so we would have been fine, but all of this off road back and forth. Yeah. We're gonna switch. So, let's go get some fuel. Just finish us with the A star. This is just so crazy <laughs> what we got ourselves into. And the crazy thing, I gotta pick up another one of these containers and bring it again. Um, it's not gonna be drilling equipment, but it's like a container. Basically it's the same size, it's basically the same mission. We gotta pick it up and drop it off at the same place. So for that one, we're gonna have to really think about which truck we should use. Now we could make this first right turn here, but I don't think we're gonna make that same mistake again because this road is probably just as bad as the one we just got stuck on over there. And notice what that sign says, vehicles over 40 prohibited. We're definitely over 40 feet in all of this. So let's try to take this road. It's a little bit more of a main road, but it has a lot of water and stuff in it, so it's gonna be a challenge still. Yep, that's a lot of water. So yeah, this would have probably been a little bit of trouble for the CT680. It doesn't have a lift. It doesn't even come with a lift, I don't think. So it would definitely 
He's struggling over here. There's a lot of trees with the launch to in the uh, bottom here, so we should be okay. We are still moving under our own power. This pace star is just a piece, guys. I'm amazed that we didn't get stuck in this. We're almost out of it. You gotta say that that is impressive. Very, very impressive. We did it, guys. That is shocking. I, I thought we were going to need the winch there for sure. Alright, let me check the map. We're making a left here. Pretty close. I know this definitely took a lot longer than I thought it would, but we're gonna get it done, guys. We're gonna be successful here. stuck here, but that's mainly just because we have no traction. Oh, was that attached? Doesn't look like it. Back will spin at all. Alright, I think I may get it. 
funny thing, I disconnected the trailer, but see, can I reattach it? Oh, that's too far away. Right. Let's see if I could reattach it. Yep, we got it. Okay, perfect. Just gotta try to muscle it over this. Hope that it doesn't flip. Help it swing around there. Nice. This is such a crazy route. Goodness. Damn, straight engine bar. I thought I was gonna have to winch out of there for sure. That was scary. We could have flipped, we could have drowned our engine. But we did it. Much further. I think it's right up there that we're going. Let's make it afternoon again so we can have a nice victory. And we are here, guys. drilling site is built. We made $5,900 for that. That is good. Now I know why they were paying us so much. It was a short journey, but it was just crazy roads. Alright, nice. Very, very nice. Alright guys, so this is actually the next mission that we're going to do. We have to pick this up from the same place we were just at, and then also pick this up from a different place and drop those off. But that will be for another day guys so thank you so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below subscribe if you are new also hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i post a new video and speaking of videos also check out my snowrunner playlist you guys will see both multiplayer and single player snowrunner action we had a lot of fun in this game so definitely check out the playlist for more so thank you so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one